Yo, what up? This is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to give you an update on how changing my app name affected the keyword rankings. Okay, last week I was freaking out about the new Google Play developer policies, especially towards my big app called EarSpy, or at least it was called EarSpy last week. Right, so it was. I think it was Monday where I was. I was talking about the, the fact that you know they were, you know they were going to start penalizing people who use spy or surveillance or stuff in their app. But of course, my biggest app is called EarSpy. So you know, and and I ranked really well for it. I was ranking like if you type in spy in like a lot of countries, I was coming up top. Right, and it, it wasn't just that that because I think that contributed a lot to downloads. But I mean. I mean, I've never told you guys this, but I went to go uh, to see like a major movie studio in London because I told them I had the top spy app and I didn't think anybody would really uh, do anything about it, but they actually did invite me and I had this big meeting with them about them sponsoring sponsoring the app for one of their apps. So we did like a big mock-up and everything, but never, nothing ever turned from it. So, But it was kind of this thing that I felt like, felt like I have this special thing, like it's my special thing, I have the top spy app, right? And then, of course, you know, it's not really a good thing because every time Android is mentioned in the news, it's always about, oh, the spies and, you know, the, you know, stealing all your data and everything. But, you know, it's still fun. So, so last week on Tuesday, I, I, you know, changed the name everywhere. We changed it, changed it in the app. I changed it on the app descriptions, changed it in the title, changed it, you know, everywhere. The only place I didn't change it is on the screenshots. But I got rid of all the screenshots that said spy or surveillance and everything. It just said super hearing. So what I thought I would do today is is talk about the effects that that's had because like last week I was I was kind of I was you know I actually thought towards the end of you know towards the end of last week I might be broke like my whole ad mob revenue would dry up you know purchases would dry up I would just become you know it was just everything would just die but that hasn't happened so let, let take a look at my screen I'll show you I'll show you what's happened so far and why I think it, it, it's working that way, okay? So here you can see uh, on my screen, you see the Google Play uh, screen. And if I go in here and type spy, uh, bam, it still comes up top, right? It, and and if, I take, if I show you this, it's, I don't have spy in the title. I don't have it uh, in, in any of the, I just have it here on the screenshot. But not, um, you know, not anywhere else. In the description, I have it only one place, which is this is not a, you know, this is name. Uh, the the app was previously named Ear Spy. Oh, it's a typo. Already a typo. So I've only had the word spy once in the description. So and it still comes up first, right? So the reason I think that is is because the word spy is used like I have like years of reviews and you know. Uh, if I show you how many reviews I have here on this app, uh, how many apps, you know, it's 38,700 reviews, right? So it's, it's, that's still working in my favor. If I show you, uh, if I go into my dashboard, you can see here, this is like the past week, you know, uh, up until last week, it was having about 4,000 downloads a day, right? And then this is where I changed it. And then this is where, right over here is where I was really freaking out thinking, okay, it's on, we're on a downward slide. But then it starts to come up a little bit, and it seems like it's starting to recover a little bit in terms of that. Now, if I go into, uh, if I show you here in um, in the ASO tool on App Annie, App Annie, my favorite tool ever, right? The free version. You can you can take your sensor towers, you can take your mobile action. Just give me App Annie, and yeah, and I'm good, right? So, um, but if I go in here and show you the uh, the keywords here, so. Again, SPY, this is the UK market. Let me show you US market because um, that's really what we're into. So, you know, we're still on the top on the, on the US market. Uh, over here, you know, uh, top for eavesdrop, SPY, hear, hearing, you know, we're, we're top keyword for a lot of words and that's driven mostly by the amount of downloads and the reviews. Uh, so, it, it, you know, it, it, we talk about this uh, the rich get richer and all this kind of stuff. It's really difficult to break into that. But once you can, you start amassing those reviews. I mean, it does cushion a lot of these things, right? So if I, uh, so we're doing really well. And I even put in here, um, I put agent in just to see, you know, adding this, you know, because I have a lot of reviews already, have a lot of traffic coming through. If I, introducing this new word in, let me just see here, uh, type in agent. 
There we go. So you can see it, it's actually, okay, here we go. So for some reason I was ranking for agent like 173. I mean, that's not really ranking, is it? It's just sort of, you know, whatever. And then now we're coming in, since I changed the name a few days ago, we're coming in at 37, 50, whatever. So it's kind of because we introduced a new name into the title, right? So I found that really strange and surprising and relieving, right? I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit relieved because even those other uh, copycats that use, you know, that call themselves Ear Spy have not caught up yet. Now, I don't know if that's going to change. It's only been a week, right? So, uh, but, you yeah, I, I, know, what I wanted, I just wanted to keep you guys, just let you know, because last week I was kind of freaking out about it. I'm still kind of freaking out about it, but I've calmed down a little bit, right? In fact, over the last week, we've taken on a lot more client work because I thought, man, you know, all, all the app, app revenue could dry up, right? So, so I'm pretty pleased about that. And if I show you the reviews over here, um, you know, if I type, if type in the word spy, I mean, we still have the word spy used in a lot of reviews. And I, I'm starting to think that the, I, I showed you this a few, well, a few months ago, how I was ranking for uh, keywords and phrases that weren't even in the app description or the title, but people were saying them a lot in the, in the reviews, like, you know, like cheating, cheating wife, cheating girlfriend, all that stuff. I was ranking for that kind of stuff. And that's not what this, you know, that was not what this app is about, but that's what people think the app is about. So they were reviewing and all this stuff. So anyway, not to show off, but I, you know, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, how that works. And I think, you know, getting reviews is one of the most important things you can do because you, in fact, if you could get people to leave reviews with keywords in the reviews, I, you know, that seems to help a lot. I don't know if it weighs them more than it does for the title, but you know, you can see I don't even have the word in my title and we're still ranking on the top for it, even after doing those changes. And it might catch up with me. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know in like a month or something like that. Anyway, hey, I apologize for not doing a video yesterday. I kept meaning to do that and it was just one of those days where it got away from me. But this is number 99, tomorrow is 100. I hope you guys aren't getting sick of me yet. Uh, that's it for today. I'm gonna talk to you guys tomorrow.